it, it's crazy right now. So you, you're getting you're getting the 2017 kind of feel where the curve on the total amount of hash power in subsequent difficulty is right around the beginning of November 2017 levels with the same block reward at the end of the day, like the total capacity. So you're looking at, you know, typical small farm of five. And I'll bring up, I, I've had, I put four rig, or no, I got three rig on Ethereum right now in this, in this house right now. And I've had since August 8th to do a, a check and I'll, I'll show you guys kind of what that looks like. Um, but bottom line, about every two days, it's about 0.1 E, which so far since August 8th and what is it, August 15th right now, I've made 0.4 of an ETH on essentially three rig. The basis. So a lot of the basic question that comes out, you come down, you may be having, I'm going to take this from a perspective that you have a mining rig and you're trying to explain it to somebody and you're trying to understand, let them understand like how do they make, how do you make currency or revenue out of a machine? And obviously the three main components that you care about is you know what's your output your you know what's the price of a currency what's your hash rate and how much power does that use that's what those are the real main you know because that's your cost this is a cost this is just a calculation this is a variable and this is just your your revenue it's your price explain that there's nodes which keep the ledger you have a ledger of the currencies and this could be bitcoin ethereum it doesn't matter right nodes and then you have mining networks that uphold it that create new blocks so you have the nodes that validate and post they do a validate and a posting mining does verifications as part of their hash routine of making a new block right so blocks that are made by the miners so the miners all compete if i go over here to pools let's see if you can see this that's there okay pools so lots of different pools it doesn't matter like this might be ether mine this might be two miners different pools right and then we have little hash little farms these little dots are us right and we might have you know four rigs off of us that we are pointing to a pool right and that pool all these pools are working on let me just make sure i'm not in the all these pools I should have had the pulls on the other side, but whatever. So to get to mint this new block, we have to win the solution to a problem. That's the proof of work, right? So all these pulls all get fetch enough information to start working on a problem. We're all working on the problem at the same time, right? So that's another thing that people don't understand. Like all these pulls are all working on the same problem. They're all working on the same problem to make the, the chance at winning the next block. And we are incentivized to do this activity. We're incentivized on this to do this activity because we are paid out in the native token predicated on the rules of the blockchain. So for Ethereum right now, two coins plus fees, which are the, the fees are the, the transactions that are done in between the blocks. This little space between here over time for Ethereum is Every 15 seconds is the block time target, right? So within 15 seconds, a transaction pool just keeps track of a whole bunch of transactions. And these transactions are competed with fees to get in this box. And what happens is, is they fall out because this box is only so big. And, and then these transactions, if they're not paying enough fee, have to wait for the next block. So this, this fee structure right now in Ethereum on these two coins, two coins are guaranteed every block. That's the reward for doing the activity. These transaction fees that are paid, get them in the next block. And that right now has been anywhere from 1.5 to two plus. So our total has been around four, four coins per block. So that's why right now Ethereum and what it is, is this, this, the total amount. So if at 15 seconds per block means four times a minute, there's an output. So let's just say the average right now is around three and a half. So 3.5 times four, right? That's 12 with another four, it's what, 14? I do that math right? Our ETH a minute is the current output of Ethereum. You guys should check my math if I did that right. Where it should be two times the four, it should be eight should be the current per minute. So miners right now are sharing 
if if this let's say two let's say ether hash went you all of us you know a handful of us are doing this to this pool and it's earning right now 14 per minute times that by 60 minutes i'm pretty good with math but not not where i can just do 14 times 60 840 ethereum an hour so the network can generate up to 840 ethereum an hour right now at the current block reward being around four or the, the two plus the fees and the mine the mining pools dependent on their their luck because proportionately they have a percentage so it, like let's say uh ether hash was 60 percent of the mining two miners was 10 percent and then this one was 30 percent it's just the math 60 percent of 840 if we go 840 times 60 percent is 504. so in that hour 504 ethereum should be the proportional amount of ethereum that if somebody owned 60 percent of the network should be getting and if they were getting around that much they would have essentially 100 percent luck that means that their luck in that period of an hour was exactly what it should have gotten um and so you'll see some pools that will maybe be at 120 percent for the rolling hour and what that means is that they got 20 percent more proportional to their amount of total hash power and it's all done because it's calculations because there's a calculations on a difficulty because the network doesn't know how much hash power is actually on it it's it's a calculation and it's a calculation predicated on a math problem of that, that proof of work math problem so there's a proof of work math problem and it says essentially i'm going to make a problem that tries to ensure that that problem won't be solved with it it needs to target at 15 seconds so mathematically I'm going to create a problem that based on if the total terahash is there at 150 terahashes on a network, I'm going to make it complicated enough to where it needs to hit that 15 seconds. Now, it doesn't always hit the 15 seconds. Sometimes it goes to, you'll see, like if you look at the block times, you'll see 18 seconds, you'll see 5 seconds, you'll see 12 seconds, you'll see sometimes 15 seconds. And then if you summed up those and then divided them based on how many were out there, your average should be around anywhere from 13.8 to 15 seconds. Sometimes they're really quick. Now you'll see sporadic stuff on certain networks, like some of the SHA-256 networks like Bitcoin, sometimes you'll see a block, a block, a block, a block, and then you'll see like a long period of time. Like during the Bitcoin halving, right when it halved, somebody turned off a mining farm. Like it just shut off and there was a big drop in mining hash power. But the block calculation for the proof of work didn't change. It was still expecting this high of a difficulty and it takes so many blocks for it to change and adjust based on how much hash power. So then you'll have these long block times just because it takes the computers enough tries to try to hit that target block time. Why I'm trying to explain this in detail is even if you're just plugged in your mining rig and you're just aimlessly letting it mine and you're getting currency, this is the background of what, how it figures out and how you can see if you're on a pool and it's having bad luck, if it's like 80% consistently, you can kind of calculate, or not kind of, you can calculate like, hey, this is the total network output of Ethereum. You can go do the math on that. You can look at the, the Ether Explorer, and mind you, everything I'm talking about Ether applies to a lot of the other cryptocurrencies. Uh, that proof of work, they have a block time, they have you know, a target block time, they have a target reward, and they have a fee structure, right? This is a commonality across proof of work currencies. Um, and I, if you guys like this type of content, I can go back and do one for proof of stake in another video for you guys.